Welcome to St. Mary's Parish in Barrie, Ontario for our celebration of Ash Wednesday. I invite you to stand and to sing our gathering song, number 352. 352. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. And as we come to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, to begin this season of Lent, let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. Who knows whether the Lord will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering to be presented to the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the aged,
Gather the children, even infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her canopy. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord, and do not make your heritage a mockery, a byword among the nations. Why should it be said among the peoples, where is their God? Then the Lord became jealous for his land and had pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. We are ambassadors for Christ, since God is making his appeal through us. We entreat you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, God made Christ to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in Christ we might become the righteousness of God. As we work together with him, we urge you also not to accept the grace of God in vain. For the Lord says, at an acceptable time I have listened to you, and on a day of salvation I have helped you. See, 
now is the acceptable time. See, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them. For then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Pray, fast, give. These are our three disciplines of Lent. And St. Paul reminds us that we are called to be ambassadors for Christ, to be ambassadors for Christ. To uh, an ambassador is someone who does not represent themselves, but represents their homeland. And so we, as ambassadors for Christ, are to represent the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, here on earth. We're to represent God to all the corners of our lives, to be an ambassador for the kingdom. And the way that we are an ambassador for God, an ambassador of Christ, is by our prayer, our fasting, and our almsgiving, by our disciplines of Lent, and whether we give something up or take something on, this time of Lent offers us an opportunity to deepen our relationship with Christ, to deepen our relationship with God and the believing community. And so we're marked 
with ashes as we begin this journey. As we journey in faith. We're marked with the sign of the cross. Marked with ashes. A reminder of our mortality. But marked with the sign of the cross. A great sign of hope. In our prayer, in our fasting, in our almsgiving, we can be ambassadors for Christ. My sisters and brothers, let us humbly ask God our Father that these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, Lend your merciful ear to our prayers, and in your kindness, pour out the grace of your blessing on your servants who are marked with these ashes, that as they follow the Lenten observances, they may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Repent and believe in the gospel. Repent and believe in the gospel. Amen. Repent and believe in the gospel. Amen. Repent and believe in the gospel. Amen.
marked with the sign of repentance, let us pray to God for a Lent that is fruitful in the works of mercy and compassion, the renewal of the whole church, and the salvation of all people. For the church, marked with the cross of repentance and redemption, and for the Spirit's guidance in being ambassador of God's unconditional love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all refugees and the people of Turkey and Syria who face trauma and the insecurities of our times, and for all who work to implement justice and dignity for their peoples, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who begin this time of renewal in God's love by prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, and for the catechumens of the church, and for all who are preparing to celebrate a sacrament, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the work of the St. Vincent de Paul Society in our community, and our generosity in sharing with those who experience unemployment, poverty, homelessness, and food insecurity, and for those who care for and advocate for our vulnerable citizens, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For those in our midst seeking understanding, forgiveness, and healing, and for the sick, hospitalized, and homebound who cannot join us today, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died and for all who mourn the loss of a loved one, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. O God of infinite compassion, whose creating word formed us from the dust of the earth and whose redeeming spirit recreates us in the image of your Son, grant that our repentant hearts may open us to the fullness of your loving mercy and the blessed joy of the Paschal Feast, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all, God's holy church. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through the works of penance and charity, we may turn away from the harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins, may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice we praise and acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though once we were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love for your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before, he, before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things to himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, he handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, 
they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, thy thy will be done done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver deliver us us from from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, kingdom, the the power, power, and and the the glory glory are yours, yours, now now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace of Christ be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the risen Lord who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Throughout the season of Lent, we will have an additional Mass at, uh, on Wednesdays at 1210. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Pour out a spirit of contrition, O God, on those who bow before your majesty, and by your mercy may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God.